What's going on you guys and welcome back to the A-Ray Show. So in this video, we're going to be talking about opportunity cost. And opportunity cost is a great concept. It's the one concept that you can relate to pretty much any decision in your life, whether it has to do with investing, job searching, or pretty much any other important decision within your life. So in this video, I'm going to break it down what opportunity cost is and how you can relate it to all these different types of things. So if you guys want to see all that, stay tuned and you guys already know, cue that intro. The first ever time I heard about the concept of opportunity cost was back in my college days. I was taking a course on microeconomics and back then it was just kind of learn the definition and move on type of situation. So I learned the definition of opportunity cost. But as time went by, I actually learned that it has such a bigger meaning and it's a lot more in depth than I thought it was. So in this video, I'm hopefully going to be able to try to portray that deeper meaning to you guys. So let's start off by reading what opportunity cost is by definition. So the idea behind opportunity cost is that the cost of one item is the lost opportunity to do or consume something else. In short, opportunity cost is the value of the next best alternative. So that's just kind of like a textbook definition. Of course, you guys can put it in your own perspective, but in my perspective, it's a lot more deeper than that. So another way to think about opportunity cost is the same thing as a trade-off. So just to put it in perspective, let me give you guys an example. So let's just say that you're still in school and you have a big test coming up. So with this test coming up, you decide to spend all your time playing video games and you don't study at all. You get a very bad grade because you didn't study. On the other hand, you had the opportunity cost or the trade-off to spend a lot of time studying. Yes, you might not have had the same amount of fun, which is the trade-off, but you would have had a higher grade. So this is just a basic example of the concept of opportunity cost. So now that we know the basic understanding of opportunity cost, let me show you guys how it ties in with major life decisions. So for example, let's just say that you make $100 every single week. With the $100, half of it goes to your basic needs and expenses that you have to pay no matter what. So now you have 50 extra dollars every single week. Now let's say the first option that you can do is you can spend that $50 every single week doing things that you like, going out, having a good time and whatnot. So with that being said, that $50 gets you your enjoyment and then after that you have nothing else after that. Now, another option that you have or another opportunity cost that you have because you're spending all your money on things that you enjoy in life, which by the way, there's nothing wrong with that. And back to the point is, let's just say that you take the extra $50 every single week and invest that. So now down the road, you're making a lot more money through compound interest, through investing. So of course, now you don't have that enjoyment in life you don't have that same amount of opportunity cost there you're not enjoying life but you have a lot more money because you're making more money through investing so of course there's trade-offs here and there you're not going to be enjoying life but you have a lot more money and then maybe you can enjoy life later on down the road but that's another thing to look at so now we have a third option and with this third option let's say you take half the money that you have left over to invest and then the other half you take to be able to do whatever you want. So you gotta think about the trade-off and where you're really happy at. It's kind of hard to find that happy medium, but through trial and error, you can find that. One quick takeaway I wanna take from this website, Investopedia, is this one over here. Opportunity cost is a forgotten benefit that would have been derived from an option not chosen. And the key point of this key takeaway is forgotten benefit. So what that really means is if you're not doing one option rather than the other, what's the benefit that you're not getting? So with that being said, in our early example, if we're choosing to spend all our money for happiness, we're losing the benefit of making money in the long term. And with the other example, if we're investing all our money, we're losing our enjoyment in life because we're not investing into ourselves through our happiness. So once again, it's totally up to you as a person to decide whether one is more valuable than the other. Just to kind of reiterate this in another word, just think about it this way. What's more important to you? Is it making money in the long term or is it to be happy? If you enjoy being happy and you think that's more valuable than making money in the long term, there's nothing wrong with that. There's no wrong choice. It's your life and you get to choose what opportunity costs or which decision you want to make. The reason I'm making this video is to kind of show you guys this is a great way to evaluate what's more important and which decisions to make. 
So once again, for me, for example, I think that in the long term, I'll be more happy if I have more money so then I can spend it on my family and whatever the case may be, rather than spending all my time right now enjoying or also at the same time, I kind of like to have a blend. So I spend a little bit for myself and then I invest the rest. And that's what works for me and I'm happy with that decision. You might be the complete opposite where you wanna invest everything or you don't wanna invest at all. That's totally up to you. I just think that opportunity cost is a great concept to be able to make that decision a little bit easier for yourself. So it's totally your choice if you wanna use your opportunity cost mechanism as a way to invest right now for your retirement account or if you wanna just spend all your money right now and enjoy life and live in the moment, it's totally up to you. And because we're an investing channel and a finance channel, well, at least I like to think of myself as an investing channel. Let's at least give one more example of how you can use opportunity costs in the investing world. And then I'll give you guys some more examples for how you can use this concept for real life world examples. So if you have an investment and you're completely down, you can continue to lose money on a bad investment and the opportunity cost would be to sell it and go into another investment. So that's just a quick way to think about it if you think that you can be making more money elsewhere or you could be having a better opportunity cost into a different stock, different investment or whatever it is. All right, so let's end off this video with a real life world decision that you can make through the opportunity cost concept. So would you rather one, be able to get a really high paying job, but you're not gonna be as happy, you're not gonna be able to spend as much time with your family, or would you rather get a lower paying job, which is still good enough for you, but you can spend a lot more time with your family and be a little bit more happier. A lot of people will choose one, a lot of people will choose the other. Let me know down in the comments down below what you guys would do, and let me know if you guys are using the opportunity cost concept knowingly or unknowingly and how you use it in your own life. So with that being said, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope this video was useful for you guys. I hope this video was useful for you guys. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. But anyways, that's going to be it. And guys, remember, if you guys enjoy my content, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It really does mean a lot. It helps me know that I'm making good quality content that's actually being used to be able to help people and not just, you know, bad content. So with that being said, that's pretty much it. And guys, remember, everybody eats.